Hey guys, Slinky with another tutorial and lately I've been thinking about tremolo and vibrato and what's the difference between those two and how do we put tremolo and vibrato on anything? Well, tremolo is the really easy one. There's a built-in effect in Ableton called Auto Pan and you can just drag that down and normally when you drag this in, I've got a different preset set up, but normally when you drag it in, it looks something like this and sounds something like this. Right, it's an auto pan, it's automatically panning the sound from left to right. But if we turn the phase down to 0%, now it sounds like this. And it's more of a volume automation, which is what tremolo is. So uh, we can turn the amount down and maybe just tweak the rate a little bit. And now if we play a nice lush chord, It gives you that sort of old school feel. So that's tremolo and it's really easy to, to achieve, but vibrato is a little bit different. Vibrato is the pitch automation. So the pitch actually wiggles up and down, not, not the volume. So I'll just use the pitch wheel here on my MIDI keyboard and I'll sort of show you what it sounds like, kind of like this. And I guess vibrato is pretty easy to put in, but you know, you could do something like this and then go into pitch bend and do a bunch of uh, automation. But that would be extremely time consuming. So let's figure out how we can automate this. Um, every synthesizer is a little bit different and some make it a lot harder to add vibrato to your sound than others. So in Serum, for example, it's a real pain in the butt to add vibrato. You've got to go set the source to LFO, the destination of oscillator A to fine, turn this all the way up, set this to back and forward mode, and then set this to your mod wheel. And finally, if we uh, tweak the LFO rate, It's a bit annoying to do, but that's how you would do it in Serum. Some other synths are a lot harder. Um, Massive, for example, is actually one of the ones that is really easy to use for Brado one. So we just go new sound and on the oscillator tab, there's a mono switch I recommend turning that on. And it's by default set up with the vibrato ready to go there. So you can just automate that. But what if you're using a synth that doesn't allow you to vibrato the sound? or it's really difficult to set it to your mod wheel and you'll want to jam out. So let's just use uh, Serum again as an example. We'll pretend like there's no option in there to vibrato anything. One thought would be to use a frequency shifter. You know, it makes sense to shift the sound around. So we can turn the phase all the way down. We'll set the rate to around six because I think that sounds pretty good for vibrato. And the LFO, we can just turn the amount up. So let's hear what this sounds like. It sounds okay, it's kind of close, but something's going on with the low end. It sounds really like weird. Like it just sounds, I don't know, it sounds messed up. And I tweaked everything, I tried to figure it out, but I just couldn't get the frequency shifter to do a nice vibrato. So, big shout outs to my man Plasma, who put one single tutorial out on his YouTube channel. Um, he usually writes sort of lo-fi, down tempo, hip hop, mushroom jazz, Mark Farina kind of stuff. And he made a tutorial showing me this trick and I thought it was amazing. He used this technique more to sort of give a sample from a, a record, kind of like an old feel, like it's getting played on a turntable. It's just a bit broken or whatever. And you know, it's like sliding in and out of notes. And I thought you can use the same technique to vibrato anything you like. So simple delay, set the dry wet to full wet. We'll turn the link on so we're only delaying on one channel and then we'll turn sync off. And if we right click on the title bar, you can set the mode to repitch. And now when we tweak this time, um, milliseconds here, it will repitch the sound. Okay, pretty cool. But there's no LFO 
inside of the simple delay. But Max for Live's got our back. We've got the LFO plugin, which is super handy. We'll throw these guys in a group and we'll map the LFO to the delay time. And now it sounds like this, <laughs> which is kind of cool if you're into that sort of thing. Um, but we just want a regular vibrato. So first thing we want to do is map the depth knob to macro one. That's going to be our knob that we're going to be automating. And in the map in tab, we're going to set the maximum to 1%. And the rate, again, we probably want that around 6, but you can adjust that to your, to your taste. And we'll turn the offset down a bit. Let's just tweak this. I think around 90, negative 90 or negative 88 or so. Beautiful. Now we can map that knob to the mod wheel on our keyboard and jam out a bit, you know? Sweet, so we can clean this plugin up a little bit. Let's type in vibrato there. And we're gonna name this vibrato anything. And then you can just go ahead and collapse that and drag it into your user library for use later. I've already got it saved there, but now you can just drag this in onto any channel, audio or MIDI, and boom, you've got yourself a vibrato anything plugin. So I wanted to show you a couple of examples as well. Um, I was messing around with just a few samples. I've got this road sample here and check, check out what this sounds like without the vibrato. I've got some automation in here, which is just going to automate the vibrato knob that we were just using that was set to our mod wheel. And now it sounds like this. <laughs> just a little bit more funk, you know? On the guitar, it sounds cool as well. And now with the vibrato. It's like... Dun, 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 dun. Cool. <laughs> and on the saxophone, it also sounds really nice. And now with the vibrato. So much more funky. You know, you can uh, really tweak this and like maybe that's a little bit too much there. You can just turn that down. And you can do the same thing with vocals. You can do it with any sample you like. So if you want a little bit more funk in your tracks, you know, just a little bit of... A little bit, a little bit of vibrato. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description to download the vibrato anything rack. Cool. Thanks for watching. Peace. It's cool, I can chill back on the track the way it's written. Try to rehearse my verse, tongue shatters and spots spitting. Cold as ice, rise spitting, that's how it's written.